You know, there are so many people that really want to bring us down by bringing up our past. They really want to bring back the past like, like, like a lawyer in a courtroom. They want to bring up our past to try to bring us down, try to make us angry, try to make, them, make us bothered, make us worried, make us stressed. In, they will try anything. Some people will try anything to try to bring you down. You know, they try to calculate how you're going to react to it. So they figure mess, they should create a mess to where you are put in it, to where you will automatically be stressed out. That's how people do in most situations. But what you have to understand is this. When people try to calculate everything that you try to do and they bring back up stuff that you used to be but you're not like that anymore, that means they're trying to calculate where you want to fall. They want to calculate you stressing. They want to calculate you worrying. They want to calculate you so you can be unfocused, so you can be distracted, so you won't be focused on what you're trying to do. But the bottom line is they cannot calculate how you're going to be. They cannot calculate how you are going in your life. You're not, they can't calculate where you are going. They can't calculate nothing in your life. So what you do is, in order to prove people wrong, you don't say, I'm going to prove you wrong. No, you go by saying it's a miscalculation. Everybody always miscalculates what somebody else is going to do. We have to understand that we give people miscalculations because we are far better than we was from where we were back then. Our past does not define us. Our past is just experience that we go through in life to try to make us better, to try to make us stronger. So when people try to calculate, you used to be the same guy you used to be. That's if you allow yourself to stay stuck in the place that you want to be. That's if you allow yourself to, to be worried, be stressed, be the same person that everybody said you would be. You know, if people want to call you a hoe and you know you are not really a hoe, that means you up there calculating that you want to be that person what people call you is. But in order to change that, you have to show them a miscalculation. You are not a hoe. You are a beautiful woman who has standards, who are trying to make something out themselves, who are trying to be successful. If you're trying to do that, then their judgment of you is a miscalculation. God always brings miscalculations in people's lives because people try to see who you are, but God already knows who you are. So what you have to understand is this, always give people miscalculations. And when you give people miscalculations, you have the power to give the devil miscalculations. You can give the devil miscalculations because he's like, well, you're going, you're going straight to hell because I can tempt you in the ways of this world. But it's miscalculation because God says you are, not of, you are not of the world. You are not conformed to the ways of this world. So what you have to understand is miscalculations are going to happen in, in, in your life. You have to choose to do that. But if you allow stuff to be calculated in your life, that means everything is going to go wrong in your life. Everybody's going to get to you. Everybody's going to force you to be stressed. Everybody's going to force you to be depressed because you are calculating when people say something about you, you automatically just take it and allow it and allow it to be calculated in your heart and in your mind. But you have to understand you got to live by miscalculations. Live by miscalculations because God is going to make everything miscalculation because he does the unexpected. He does the unbelievable, but he does the impossible. So what you have to understand is you have to be a miscalculation. You have to walk as a miscalculation. That's why it says walk by faith, not by sight. So you have to walk by miscalculations. Don't walk by calculated standards in this world. And if you don't get what I'm saying, what I mean by calculated is do not walk from what people tell you where you need to go. You go to where God leads you to go. And people don't believe you. That's why you have faith for. Faith is a miscalculation as well. It is not a calculated thing. If you have faith, then God will lead you to where you need to go, not what people do. People are not, people try to calculate your route. But God miscalculates those people because he leads you to a better route. So, what are you going to be? Are you going to be a calculated people that does what everybody says you're going to do when everybody judges you just going to accept it? Or are you going to be a miscalculation and walk by faith, not by sight, and always walk with God? The choice has always been yours. That's why God gives us the freedom of choice. 
So that's pretty much my mess for a day. You know, people always want to bring you down, but every time they judge you, it's always a miscalculation. Every time the devil, you, devil tells you you are something, it's a miscalculation because you are not that. Because God is always bigger. And God, what God gives you, you are that person. You are the person that God says you are. So that's my mess for the day. I'm out of here.